Okay, so that's it for her face. Now we want to do the decoration that's in the center of these. And you know these dolls, they nest. They, you know, there's, they split in half and then they have more of them inside. Um, obviously we're not doing that many, but you certainly can do several cakes on here and, you know, do them all. If you want to do all the cakes, <laughs> I'm doing one. You can do the rest. <laughs> but what I want to do for the center here is I want to do flowers, but I didn't want to paint them because I'm not that good of a painter and I know where my what my limits are. However, I can do brush embroidery, which is painting with, with the buttercream frosting. So we're going to brush embroider the flowers for her center here. So let's get this out of the way. And we'll get our pattern onto the cake. Now we need a good brush embroidery brush, which is something that's fairly stiff. What did I do? Not bring that brush with me? Oh, that's okay. Uh, you want a fairly stiff brush that you can paint with. And I may switch brushes just to find one I like because I obviously didn't bring my favorite one with me. But um, this one will probably work. One of these will probably work well. I want something kind of stiff. Where is my, I don't know where my favorite brush is. It seems to be missing. This is kind of stiff too. It might work. We'll see. Small. This is like, you want like a number three brush. That's what, the, and a rounded tip. So that's what I've got here. Um, a, uh, there's another name for the kind of brush. It's got a bit of an angle. That one works too. You want kind of like a half moon when you do the brush embroidery thing. So let's get our pattern. What I did is I just kind of hand drew this up. I don't think I'm going to do all this on here. And I want to make sure that this yellow is dry. Um, but I'm going to do some of it on here. And since this is still um, soft because I just covered it, I'm going to actually imprint it on here. Centering it here. I'm just going to hold it down and just trace around with my tool. Now you can wait till it dries, firms up, and actually transfer it using like um, petal dust or something, you know, transfer, transfer the pattern on. But it's best to do it while it's soft. Let me see if I got it. Yep, and you can kind of see it. They're just slight indentations. Now with brush embroidery, we're going to work from the background to the foreground. So let me grab a bowl. I need a little bit of buttercream frosting. And we need just a little bit of white. Now I've shown brush embroidery before. But this is actually going to be a two-tone brush embroidery because I want it to look kind of like toll painting where they use white and the color. So that's why I am... So that's why I'm showing it to you, because I don't think I've showed you that. I've talked about it before, but I don't know if I've actually showed it to you. Um, usually when I do brush and embroidery, I do it with royal icing, but you can do it with buttercream just as easily. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of piping gel to help this flow smoother for me. So I'll need a teeny, tiny little bit. It's uh, like a quarter of a teaspoon to a cup or something, or a half a cup. It's not, you don't need a heck of a lot, just a little bit. Um, so I've got more than, more than enough in there, because that's like a quarter teaspoon to like a quarter of a cup. Okay. Oh, I guess I need my spatula to mix it up, don't I? So mix it in, and you want to get the air bubbles out of it. So we're just going to mix it and paddle it to get those air bubbles. And it's got a lot of air bubbles. Just paddle it back and forth and it smooths out. And I'm going to take a number, I don't know if it's number two or number three. Let me go see what I got. I think it's number two. And put it in my bag. Yeah, it's number two. Number two, put it in the bag and put this in. It's just my normal buttercream recipe. 